Hey guys and welcome back and in this part we're going to go ahead and carry on um, creating this um, finger so let's go ahead and start doing that uh, before we do that I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that all my history is deleted and you should do this quite often to save um, performance and that and I'm also going to go ahead and hide the body, hide the neck and hide the head because we don't need that okay so here we go um, I'm only going to work on this piece, so we're going to go ahead and isolate it. So last part, we went ahead and um, blocked out all the major bits that we need. And uh, in this part, we're going to go ahead and start adding in all the edge loops and so on. And again, this is a fairly, um, not too complicated, but a fairly complicated shape. So it's not that straightforward where to add in all the loops and so on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, select all of these faces back and front and um, we're going to go ahead and use our extrude and we're going to use probably about not point not five oh that's going to be too much not point not not five maybe so look how that's looking uh, it's going to be too little so we'll just go with probably like not point not one yeah that is good so we do a 0 0.01 extrusion and um, we're gonna go ahead and start adding the edge loops in and so on where we need them so the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna use our insert edge loop tool or interactive split tool instead and I'm just gonna make a cut from here to here all the way down here and we're gonna join it up about there okay so that looks pretty good now I can go ahead and select all of these the vertices and select that axis and I'm gonna hold down V again to snap it where it needs to be and now I can go ahead and select that edge and this edge and go ahead and delete it okay are we also not gonna need this edge that's coming down here so the first thing we're going to do is actually make a cut here um, and then we can go ahead and delete that so we're going to make a cut there, there and again it doesn't really matter where you're making these because um, we're going to go ahead and line these up anyway so now because these vertices are not very uh, lined up even the ones that we did are going to do them individually uh, holding down V, middle mouse button and if it would work that'd be great for some reason it don't want to there we are so now I'm going to do the same thing with this one I'm going to snap it to that and actually while we're here you we can go ahead and delete that edge already okay so now I'm just going to go ahead sort out the rest of these and that one and that's the last one okay cool so now I can go ahead delete that and we can also go ahead and delete this as well because we don't need that okay so that's pretty cool so basically what we achieved is we just added in an edge loop that goes all the way from here around this corner around there and so on um, you're also gonna have to go ahead and sort out this bit so why not go ahead and do that now we're gonna drag from there again gonna make a point here there there and let's just see where that point is going to there and now again vertex mode select like the vertex we need hold down V snap do the same thing with this one and the same thing with this one and now I already can go ahead and select that edge and delete it and also the same thing with this one okay we're well, looking pretty good 
Um, next thing we're going to do is now I think we can go ahead and start using our insert edge loop tool instead of making these cuts by hand. So let's go ahead and start here. We're going to use our insert edge loop and I'm going to drag all the way from here to there. And as you can tell, it goes all the way around quite nicely. And now all we got to do is use our um, insert interactive split tool. I mean, to go ahead and join these vertices up. And same thing on the bottom. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And now I'm going to come around here, make sure that these are fine. And it's looking pretty good. Okay, so this was the hardest bit, really, um, I think. So now we can go ahead and start adding in the other loops that we need. So now we're going to go ahead and start with this corner and use our insert edge loop tool again. And we're going to put one around here. Okay, so it's looking good. We've already got one around here. So we're going to need one around this bit, around this bit, around this bit, this bit. Okay, so we're looking quite good. Um, I'm also going to need some around here and I think I'm going to go ahead and add a double one in here because you might go ahead and get some issues. I'm also going to add two in here. Um, also going to need one here. And that's looking pretty good. And now I can see that we're getting some issues here. Don't know what this edge is doing here, but we can go ahead. Right, this is coming around somewhere. Don't know where it came from. It seems like this edge around here for some reason. I'm going to go ahead and delete that edge. And hopefully it's not missing from an important bit. We will be able to see where it's missing from later on. So now I'm just going to go ahead and carry on adding these in, and then we'll see if we're running into any issues later on or not. But hopefully, you ain't. So we're going to need one there as well. So these corners look pretty good. That corner looks pretty good. These bits look pretty good. So now I'm going to come around to this bottom bit and see what's going on around here. That corner looks fine. And now I'm just again checking around. You're going to need a loop going around here. Okay, so we're looking pretty good, I think. And we're going to go ahead and hit smooth in just a second and see mm -hmm. where we're up to. So there we go. It seems like it's moving quite nicely everywhere around. I'm getting a quite hard edge here. But that looks okay. I'm <clears throat> not too worried about that. Now looking at this bit, that looks fine. I'm not getting any tearing whatsoever. So that's looking pretty good. Okay, so overall, we're looking quite good. I'm not sure what's going on here or why we're getting so many loops around this bit. We're going to have to go ahead and investigate. Um, it's most likely because of around here. I think I'm going to go ahead and we're not actually going to need two, so I'm going to delete that one. Um, we're going to need that one and that one, so let's go ahead and smooth it and see how it's looking. We're getting a little bit of an artifact here from the smoothing, but it's not 
too noticeable really so it's not that bad um, so there we go I think that's looking pretty good uh, let's go ahead and come out of isolation and see how it's looking then um, quite happy with the result I hope you guys are as well and I think what we're going to do next is we're actually going to go ahead and move this into um, move it into position where it's supposed to be um, apart from that it's looking pretty good so let's go ahead and do that um, we basically in reality we should just be able to plug this in like so and that is the look that we're going for I want this to sit in there a little bit more that much probably about there okay so it's looking quite nice right so I think we basically got our finger created it's looking pretty good we could maybe go ahead and make this bit a little bit sharper but I kind of prefer it as it is so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug this back into our finger group. Um, I think I might actually add an extra edge loops in here just to keep this a little bit tighter. So you got that sort of a curve in there. Might even add two. Let's see how it's going to look with two, if they're not too close together. And for some reason we're getting this weird curve going on. I think I'll just leave it at one, that will be fine. Like so. So we get that little edge going on in there. Okay, so it's looking pretty good guys. Let me just check in my side view and in my front view. Yeah, it's looking. In this reference, it doesn't. Um, it looks like it's not um, curved, but it actually is. So that's why we've done it. I looked at some other references of Wally, and this side is actually curved in. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and duplicate this over. So, Control D, and then modify center pivot. And we can go ahead and scale X minus one to flip it around and then just go into my front view and we can go ahead and plug this into position as well. I want them fairly close to each other. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and line this up with that line. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. Gonna have to center pivot like so. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool to me. Uh, for some reason, we're getting some weirdness going on in there, but it ain't that bad. Just make sure I smooth everything. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. Uh, we can. Uh, just go ahead and make sure that our proportions are roughly right and we're also going to have to go ahead and make this um, bottom finger as well but I'm going to have to go and look at some other references I'm also going to go ahead and adjust this screw so I'm just going to scale this in and make sure that it sits in the middle Maybe something like that Okay, so we're looking pretty good with the arm. Gonna make sure everything's smoothed. And I'm gonna just turn on the body and the neck and the head and everything and make sure that the proportion looks roughly right. Um, because we might have to scale it just a tiny bit. But for me, it looks pretty good. I thought it was gonna be a little bit too big, but it looks fine. So uh, we're gonna leave that as it is. Um, quickly, I think we're going to go ahead and sort out this joint before we go ahead and move forward. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide ahead. 
and the neck as well. So our arm should be sitting out somewhere around here. Okay, that's why I'm, that's why we're moving it there. Um, but we're gonna have to make this joint fit in there somehow. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide the body as well, just so I can see how much space we actually need. Because I don't want to make this bit um, look too boring, if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna this edge looks really soft. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add another loop in. Okay, and <clears throat> I think we're just gonna go ahead and improvise. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add some some kind of extra um, bit to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of these faces. Actually, we're gonna have to leave this as a separate piece, I think. Um, because his arm actually moves in. So I think we're just gonna have to go ahead. Um, well, when you animate him or if you rigged him, his actual arm moves inwards to his body. That's how he folds his arms inside him. So I think we're gonna have to, uh, basically once, if he did rig it, we're gonna have to like basically move this inside his body. So that's why we're not gonna make it out of two separate pieces. Um, but I might just go ahead and add a tiny extra detail to this because it looks really boring. 